You know, sometimes uh, you just feel comfortable in the kitchen with somebody <laughs> you just met. And this is uh, Carmela from La Tavola Restaurant. Giar How do you say your last name? Giar Jeremita. Jeremita. Um, and Carmela is up at La Tavola up on uh, Mount Washington. And our Ang Anna Singer from uh, QED FM said, if you're going to do Steel City Chefs, there's some place you got to go. you got to have Carmela on your program to show you how she does home cooking. Really, this is Italian home cooking, but in a fabulous uh, restaurant. And so we, we uh, asked you, and you, you were so gracious to come on. So I'm Thank having you. my little espresso here with you, Carmela, and we're gonna, you. you're going to make something that sounds so delicious. Porchetta ripiena. ripiena. Okay. Ripiena. That means it's top pork. Oh, it was so like stuffed. a stuffed. Okay. Because we stuffed the pork. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's see how you do okay. this. We get beginning with uh, breadcrumbs. So, right. Okay. You put a, a little bit of pepper. So you got to season flavor. up your breadcrumbs. Yeah. Salt. Uh huh. A little pinch, and we get some fish parsley. Real simple. You go like this, and. You can cut it like that. Now, Carmela, how long has the restaurant been up there on Mount 16 Washington? 16 years. 16 years? In July, yeah. 2009 is going to be 16 years. Nobody called me. I missed oh. this entirely. I've, I've been here since 1985, and I never even... Oh, my goodness. Now you see, know. Now I now know. You know. Gonna, they're going to be... Uh, my car will know how to get there automatically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, we got the fresh Italian flip parsley, mm -hmm. and we're going to put some Romano cheese imported from Italy. Just a little bit. A little bit. Look, see? Nice. A handful. Don't don't, don't lay in short of that no, grated no, uh, no, Romano no, cheese. You no, got that. No, you got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of seasoning in this. You know, my okay. grandmother, who uh, taught me what I know about uh, cooking in the kitchen, the one thing she always insisted on, even if she only had a small piece, but she had to have the best cheese you, you got you it. can't use you cheap it. cheese and make good food you know no, so no, she no, no. she was really adamant about that she was a, a terrific cook and, and taught me a lot of things about the basics yeah and okay. that's the way it's supposed to be Chris I tell you one thing I have four children and uh, they all know how to do it my older one Jolina I've been she went to college uh -huh. uh, she got a degree in communication and guess what? What's she doing? She's cooking. <laughs> She's in my right hand. I've been training her for almost nine years since she's done with college. One day she said, Mom, I don't want to do this for a living. I want you to teach me. I said, wow. honey, okay. You yeah. know, I'm not going to put a salt in the hex. I'm going to put a pinch of paper. For okay. Flavor, okay. Just like that. See? I can't tell you how many dishes my grandmother would make started with the egg and the breadcrumb. And, and, and as, a, as a young boy, that was my job in the kitchen. You know, she would say, you know, she would give me it all piled up and, and, uh, and put in the bowls and everything. But I had to do the dipping. And oh, um, yeah. it's how you learn as a kid. You know. So we'll see what you got there. Oh, it's a little bit of garlic, huh? Yeah, a little bit fresh. Mm-hmm. See? We're going to put it right here. Carmela, okay. where did you learn how to cook? In the kitchen at, well, at home, too? or? No, my father, he was the best chef I know in Italy. and. Oh, so he was. He okay. was, but he never opened up his own restaurant. Reason why, he was a businessman. Uh -huh. So he chose to make money before work. <laughs> okay? So you don't have to be real fine because the flavor is going to be there. Right. You know? And then you mix it up like this. Okay? Meantime, you got your skillet. Hot. We put hot. some oil, we remove this, and we're going to put this right here. A little bit of oil in the bottom? Yeah, not for to saute this pork. Okay. And what I did, Chris, I just uh, get a, a loin of the pork, right. clean it up a little bit, le left a little bit fat there. I have a reason for it. That's flavor. Okay? okay. And then you don't have to do anything except this. Just okay. Take out your feelings right there. Yeah, Just right give there. it a shot. Okay. A lot of noise, but it's okay. And then you go like again. See? That gets much thinner, doesn't it? Yes, it is. And the flavor in this is better than veal. People forget how good the pork is. You know, I'm not doing too much of that, but this is one of the main dishes that I do as a special yeah. in my restaurant because it's really really tasty 
Uh-huh. Really, uh, you don't need a knife. You well, just I think can you know pork has more intrinsic flavor than than veal. One of the problems with pork is nowadays when you if you just make a pork roast, it tends to dry out or you know, it, and and still has a great flavor, but it's a little bit harder to deal with. But this way, you're this, way, you, it, this is going to be buttery gonna, here. Yeah, this is, see, see how thin it is. Yeah. And then we're going to put it like this, and right in the skillet when the oil is out. Okay. Okay. Let me that way we can prep the sauce that go with this. Okay. With I'll the, fry this up if you let me. Sure. Okay. It's been my pleasure. It's like home. It is. It is like home. <laughs> well, I feel so comfortable with you already in the kitchen, yeah, Carmela. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. See? Okay. Okay. We can put everything on so the side. So now, obviously, here. you you know, you would make more because you got a lot. Oh, you got yeah. a lot, oh, yeah. lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. But we're just going to make a few to show few people. A few to show people, yeah. And we're going to okay. rotate this because I want to cut some mushroom in the other side, right? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. And I'll just use these tongs. And this is going to be the provolone and porter from Italy, mm -hmm. the ham and porter from Italy. I got tomato, Samarzano tomato, to make my sauce, and mm. I got mushroom. Okay. Okay, champignon mushroom. So we need another burner on, huh? Yeah. To make, okay. Let's kill it. You don't mind? No, no. Okay. You know, when you're a chef, you used to have your own knife, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, huh? Great, big, beautiful mushrooms. Aren't they beautiful? Now, now, do you have a lot of local suppliers, or where do you get uh, your materials for the restaurant? A I get a combination uh, of things. A combination of everything. We we shop whatever is fresh. Matter of fact, in my restaurant, every weekend, the people in Pittsburgh get the privilege to test a fresh fish from Analulu, Hawaii. Wow. Analulu, delivery to my house mm -hmm. overnight. That's how fresh it is, Chris. Yeah. You know. And the beauty is that we grill it, uh -huh. so you don't lose the flavor of the fish. Mm -hmm. And the beauty also is the flavor, because this fish never been frozen. Uh -huh. So when you taste the fish, people say, oh my God, yeah. I never taste anything so fresh. Mm -hmm. Because it's fresh, you know? Sure. I think we have enough uh, for this uh, dish. Okay. And we can and start the sauce. When these are done, I'm just going to put them in here. Yes, yes. So we can put them in the oven. Okay. Yes. But the sauce is ready to you start. You want to switch? You want to switch? Yeah, sure. You come on over okay. this way, and I'll help you this way. Okay. We're going to make it the sauce. Hey, why so it not? Starts why with not? A lot, yeah, a I know. Bit of yeah, butter. I know. My my nickname at the station is Stick of Butter, <laughs> so everybody knows Stick how I feel about putting wanna, that butter in. Um, I tell you one thing. You want to pass the tomato for yes, me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put it right here. And uh, we're gonna get it uh, in a few minutes. We're gonna get the uh, mushroom and a little, the little cup of flour. What's this over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Nah. Now. Go you, for it. Go for it. You're, when Go you're for it. Um, figuring out the menu, Carmela, for the restaurant, you change it different times in the year or different dishes seasonal? Every Yes, it's seasonal. Also, we change menu, uh, specialty menu every weekend so my guests can have the privilege to taste something different all the time you can move over this way okay Let's give, give you a little more room there because these right. are done okay i'm going to put those in a um baking dish so that we can work with them okay when okay i'm going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper again okay okay and let it cook a little bit until mm -hmm. it make a little cream at the bottom of the bottle. See? Right. And uh, I'm going to add the flowers in this. White wine. Okay. Okay. I got the white wine here. Okay. That one is good to drink, Chris. This is, uh, yeah, this is a Pinot Grigio. <laughs> People ask me, what kind of wine do you cook with? And the answer is, whatever wine you would drink. Exactly. Yeah. Because I use the best quality food. Also, I use the best oil and put cheese a good wine and I never I never change it because you know what even if you change the brand of the cheese the the recipe change sure so I'm really picking that uh -huh. you know they and want that consistency when yes. you come back you want it to taste the exactly same. the same yeah yeah so it's good you know that's something Carmela that I that I remember from my grandmother and and that is that 
she would make a dish, you, you know, 10 years in a row. Every time you tasted it, you had that memory. The memory, the, yes. That, uh, the food memory. And how did she, she never had a recipe, she never had a whatever, but she must have been very consistent about what she did. Uh, quality. Do the same way. Quality, the same way, mm -hmm. and the same end. You yeah. know what I mean? Because a pinch of this, a pinch of that a long time ago was a measuring cup, you uh -huh. know, a measuring <laughs> spoon. But now we have all the measurements we can control better. Mm -hmm. But a long time ago, you get a, you ask a, your grandmother, what's the recipe for this? What she tell you? A pinch of this, a pinch of that, a little this, a little that. And that's the way they used to cook. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I try to teach my children, don't be afraid. You don't have a measuring cup. Just to use your imagination, taste it. Mm -hmm. And then you can add it, put a little bit less, and then you can add a little bit more as you go. Uh -huh. Because that way you save yourself. It could be too salty, could be too spicy. You know, see how nice this looks? Yeah. Now, you obviously have a lot of regular customers uh, um, at, at your restaurant because um, I know Anna Singer, oh. you know, she must be there all the time because she told me about it. And. Um, and, and uh, Mount Washington is sort of a, a, a different kind of neighborhood, you know, it's... Um it is. So you have... Uh, it's separated between the two, Grandview Avenue and the other side. Right. We in the other side. Uh -huh. We don't go for the look or the view. We look in the dishes. <laughs> because when they come, they come to see us. One thing I do when my guests arrive, I know everybody one by one, and they get a kiss from me. Mm -hmm. So you come tomorrow, not because I know you, but because I know you, I give you a kiss. But somebody's with you, I kiss them too. <laughs> and that's me. That's so, me. So that's not even on the menu, you yeah, know? It's and not it's not, not a menu. bad thing. Yeah. So I will get a little bit of tomato, uh -huh. and you go like this, and you add it. So these are peeled plum tomatoes. Tomato. I use imported from Italy. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I take one It makes thing. a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> My goodness, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a booboo here. All right. Okay. Now... Yeah, nice and smell. Oh boy, yeah. yeah. Now you can be a little bit. My yes, please go for it. That's it. See? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now in the meantime, this cook, Chris. Right. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna. Let me get this how to put this here. together because yes. this has got to go. This got to go in the oven. All right. So. Well, they I, look so beautiful. See how beautiful they are? You could just serve that with a little lemon juice. That's it. A little bit of Romano cheese on top. Remember oh, what I told you about it? Yeah. Therefore. Okay. So I'm going to get a cinnamon. <laughs> Imported him. I always want to stop the dinner when I'm hungry and just <laughs> eat what I've got already. But you're going to uh, go another step here. Make it more step. beautiful. See? So this is some cooked ham. Yeah. From Italy also. Which uh -huh. is uh, a little bit less salty. You put the cheese like that. You go like this. And then you can cut it with your hands. And I believe, I believe it, be yourself in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because it's your home. And I think people should, should do something so simple like that. Yeah. We're going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees. And I'm going to bring that, one out yes. that you have already got melting. Yep. Yep. Um, hmm. And then I'm going to go right here. Remove this and make a decoration out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna. Oh yeah. Huh? They got really toasty. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Uh. We can flip it over. That's okay. I like it. Like we're gonna why? put the sauce you on the top. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. Okay? Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this baby. Oh boy. That. Oh See? wow. Okay. Melty. Okay. And when you have a guest. You can cut this in a half like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to make a decoration. No, no, leave it nice and uh, okay. full there. Okay, and I'm going to show you, uh, Chris, how to make this tomato. Meantime, the sauce is cooked and we can talk about it. See? Simple. So you just uh, make those diagonal cuts just in the center. That's it. About halfway about through. About halfway through. And then uh, you can do this with orange, lemon. Any kind of fruit. Uh huh. Tomato. Oh, all right. Nice going. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> nice tip for, you know. Well, it's nice to have, you know, obviously, when you go to a restaurant, you, everything that you do is tries to make people feel special. Um, but these are tricks that you can do at home to make your family and friends feel special, too. Christmas so, coming, know. right? Oh, and you yeah. want to invite on New Year. This is a perfect winter dish. Yeah. 
because what you're doing it's uh, you prepping in advance pop in the oven when you're ready to go for 10 minutes and you're done yeah you have your sauce you know you can cook it mm -hmm. and put it in the oven so we're going to get a little oh. and then we're going to put it right on top let me just or a spoon. Uh, no I, oh. I have uh, ladles a little i have ladles spoon. sorry about that here we go <laughs> Use this. This is nice. Oh, this beautiful. Is a, a little scoop of them. Look at a uh, little, little, little scoop of them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we were this. joking with Very one nice. of the other chefs about, you know, the fancy names for things and, and then what, what our family actually referred to them. Oh, and that's got uh, all that butter in there that's so the unctuous. Tomato. And tomato. Lots, lots of those beautiful, Mushroom. huge mushrooms. Aren't they beautiful? And I love mushrooms. Myself, so. Now, obviously, this is something you serve at La Tavola. This is, yes. All, is it all the time or just certain uh, just, seasons? Uh, uh, we're doing like uh, specialty. So uh -huh. people call, and then what we're doing, we say, okay, we have it as Friday and Saturday. Uh -huh. You call in advance, and we make everything to the order. Carmelo, this is just gorgeous. Uh, what do you think of that, folks? Look at this. This is uh, and, and what do you have? What you call this porchetta ripiena, ripiena which is a, a stuffed porchetta, um, uh, stuffed pork uh, cutlets. Cutlet, uh, yeah. And and um, and this is available at La Tavola. Uh, if you call up and 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 let Carmelo know that this is uh, one of the dishes that you want to enjoy, but you got a lot of other stuff oh, in, right goodness. on the on the menu that the and, people could enjoy. And they can go at www.latavolaitalianarestaurant.com. Okay. Our menu is there, so they can check us. They can buy a gift certificate mm -hmm. for the holiday. Yeah. And you know, when they come. Just to ask it, it's not a menu you ask, we make it for you because everything is cooked to the order. Uh, cooked to order. Yep. Folks, uh, we're so thrilled uh, to have Carmela here in La Tavola uh, supporting WQED in this. Uh, uh, Carmela, as 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 wonderful and uh, and as I, I, I sort of familiar that I feel, uh, you are still one of uh, the Steel City chefs here, and and we are so Thank happy you. to have you. Thank you. Chris. And, Thank uh, you. Thank you. Okay. Got a kiss twice, or my wife will be watching, twice. and uh, and her husband <laughs> Joe is saying right there, and uh, <laughs> you have your daughter Gabriella here. We're gonna take a break um, to give you a chance to get your coupons to this restaurant and seven other restaurants that represent Pittsburgh uh, with their Steel City chefs, and here's how you can do it.